Good morning, I'm Brian Hewitt, the man, and my wife Anita, we bring you live here from the MCN Ministries Bible, Bible Way LA, as we bring in the morning wake-up call, as we continue our series of Proverbs today in Proverbs chapter 3. So, brethren, as we often say in the morning, we just love you, we want the best for you, we want you to come forward with us, we want you to come and travel with us to our crusades in Africa, Europe, India, Asia. Um, Asia, Australia. Let the words of my mouth be, and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength, my Redeemer. That's from Psalms 1, 119, 19, verse 14. Lord, we love thee. We lay our heart before thee. You're the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. Lord, we, Lord, we want to love you. Hold, lay our hearts before you. In the secrets of our hearts, you know our strength. And this is why, why we are here, with the power of wisdom. Wisdom just captures us in every aspect. So let's just get right into this and really focus that our my daily prescription for everybody here that tunes into our, our network, our blessed network, our experiences, starting at the 60th hour as we are doing now, my wife comes on at 11 p.m. and 3 p.m., 11 a.m. and 3 p.m., and then I, yours truly, comes back in at 6 p.m. And the all, when we are based here in the Pacific Standard Region of the United States, so join in wherever you are because it's the morning's just starting as we hit our daybreak, and your day is probably coming to an end in most parts of the world, or mid-afternoon, so God bless you. We love you. The... Proverbs, the first 12 Proverbs of, of chapter 3, expresses the obedience of God. The following chapters then pertain to how you should treat your neighbor. And those particular um, chapters would be from verses 25 to 27 through 35. My son, forget not my law. But let thine heart keep thy commandment. For length of days and a long life and peace shall, shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon thy table of thy, thine heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not into thine own understanding. We must, and that I just read after verse 5, we must go forth into our own understanding with God. We just cannot have our own understanding on our own and accept that all of this is, is going to come into a fruitful way for us. We express our truth, the oneness of being one mind and one judgment of Christ, and with our love, our time, our endless rhyme, recompense to no man evil for evil, provide, provide things honest in the sight of all men. And that would be a cross-reference verse from Romans twelve seventeen. from verse number 4. And we, we read up into verse number 5. Dear Jesus, we express this we ask you to bless this time with us as we move into Proverbs number 3. Do not let kindness and integrity forsake you. Tie them around your neck. Write them on the tablets of your heart. We, we move into God's grace, God's love, His perfection. We must write the love of Jesus Christ upon thy heart. The truth is going to to set us all free. We are called the practicing Christian rather than a practical unbeliever. There is this great tendency men to depend on their own understanding instead of depending upon the Word of God. God, we must depend on the Word of God. I don't care if you're a model for Vogue magazine, you're a rock star, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer. This is for you. You, you can be that example within your own industry. You can be that example by 
deepening your strength, deepening your love, and coming into the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. With this time, God's endless rhyme, he provides you with the satisfaction of the great depth of his love. Move into the haste of the, don't haste yourself, don't move away from your life thinking that it's going to be doom and doom and destruction. It is not. God is bringing you into this expression of God's love. His truth is going to set you free. His truth is going to express everything to you. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and, and direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear Jehovah and turn away from evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor Jehovah with your wealth and with the first fruits of your harvest. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim with new wine. My son, do not reject Jehovah's discipline. And do not become tired of his rebuke. For Jehovah rebukes those whom he loves, just as a father rebukes his son to whom he delights. In our time, brethren, we express much to mention it. There is warning against rejecting God's grace. Or if we lift up thy hands which hang down and thy feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest they which is lame and be turned out of the way, but let, let it rather be healed. That's from Hebrews 12, verse 13 and 14. Express yourself in God's path, God's way, God's reality, God's mov movement of His truth. His truth sh shall set us all free. His truth brings us into that judgment of one mind, one judgment of Christ, away from the bondage of sin. This is not at all the same. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore love is a full fulfilling of the law. So when you have wisdom, the strength from hope, faith, and love, Jesus moving into your life, opening that door, faith moving into your new home called the house of salvation. You are having this time as the now faith. We bring into this time your endless love. The guidance of the new you. The guidance of what is coming into this love. What is ca ca coming to the depth of your new life. What more can one express? What more can one ask for? God sent his son down to die for you on this earth. And you are doing his work. There's nothing to compromise yourself for at all. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. And the man that getteth understanding. For merchandise of it is better than merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Length of days are in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. This is all, all yours for the taking. That is all yours for the taking. That was from 13 through 16 in Proverbs 3. It's yours, brethren. Lay yourself on the altar of the Lord. Come forward in the name of Jesus and be redeemed. You are redeemed. Not when I grow up, I'll be redeemed. You are redeemed. Moving into God's grace, God's wisdom. He has all the knowledge of our prosperity, the merchandise of silver, and, and find gold and prosperity in both hands to give to you. Let Jesus Christ bring you to the river of wisdom, wisdom and be baptized in, in the kingdom's name of eternity. The kingdom's name of love. The kingdom's love of strength. Give me therefore all glory and strength and honor to come into this time. Your endless rhyme. Therefore, brethren, be of one mind, one judgment of Christ. Seek the Lord with everything, everything. 
Seek the Lord with your strength. Seek the Lord with, with everything coming into the, you, your value of your love. Brethren, do not spoil the harvest by standing still. Come forward in this time, your love, your strength, breaking down everything for you here in Proverbs 3. We want the best for you. We want to acknowledge you. We want to sh have iron sharpening your irons. And with this time, the strength of your love coming forward, you will feel the new you being brought forth. Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for his wisdom and might are his. He removed the, he removed the kings and, and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that know understanding. Knowledge to them that know understanding. That is you. That is you, my friends. You are given this great knowledge of understanding. But knowledge of the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. But so let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be. So shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace to thy neck. Thou shalt thou walk in the way of safety, and thy foot shall not stumble. That's up to verse twenty-three. Do not. stumble. Do not fear fear. Fear is not a spirit that was created by God. You have a sound mind. You are a warrior prophet, prophetess. You, have, you are a fearless individual. Go forward and be strong in the name of Jesus. Go forward in the, God's time. Your endless rhyme. Starting at verse 24. But why when layest thou down, when lay thou when thou layest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thou thy shalt be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. And withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. So twenty eight through thirty five. So say not to, unto thy neighbor, Go and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast, hast it by thee. Give, 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 in the name of Jesus. Give, give, give. For Romans 10, 13, Whoever so shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That name is Jesus Christ. Many of my old friends from the entertainment days may not like the way that I moved a life into the Lord, but it has made saved many. We invite you to join us in our crusades, the experience. Join the experience of the Brian Hewitt Crusades, MCM Ministries, Bible LA as we go to Kenya once again in April, Nigeria, Tanzania, Cape Town, South Africa, England a couple times this year, Europe, France, Australia in 2013, India at the end of 2012, Canada, of course, and the Great Lakes region of the United States, and of course our work continues here in Los Angeles, California. We come to you at these four times a day, twice with my yours truly, twice with my wife, 6 a.m., 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 6 p.m. That's Pacific Standard Time, North America. God wants you to come forward now so just repeat after me brethren dear God I admit I am a sinner I need your forgiveness I believe that Jesus Christ died for my life I'm doing the sinner's prayer and do repeat this in your heart I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalty for my sins I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit to, into my life to fill me and take control and to help me, help me become the kind of person you have always wanted to me, for me to be. You are redeemed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name, you have that strength. You have that reality of everything 
everything coming before you. Everything in the matchless name of Jesus is yours. Coming forward is not a mistake. It should not have one foot forward and one foot back. Coming forward gives you that opportunity to deliver. To, to deliver the new goods of the treasure that you have just unlocked by coming forward in the name of Jesus because you are redeemed. God gave you gold. He gave you his kingdom. Found in Matthew 6.13. That is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Matthew 7.7. 7. Ask, seek, and knock. 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 God. Knock, knock, knock out loud with your prayers. Knock out, uh, out loud with the power of your wisdom. Hope, faith, and love are singing loud for you. You have the nine fruits of the spirits from God, from discovered in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. The first one is love. You, have, you are now your walking orchard. You have all these beautiful fruits coming out of you surrounding you. God's hedge of protection is blessing you. You are blessing many around you in your life. Peace of mind is now yours. The clarity of a sound heart is now yours. Be of that earnest growth. Be of that sun. Be of that glory. What more can we ask for? What more does one need? In our time, God is loving you. God is going to express that truth to you more than you've ever expressed, haven't ever expressed. With God's love, you see this coming forward, and you want, you want the best of it. You want everything to share. You want the power of wisdom. It's yours. It's laying right before you. God gave you that guarantee of a new life inside you inside of you, on, on your table, at Calvary, when he gave you his son on the cross, opening his arms, embracing you, hugging you in the name of eternity, and guiding you and loving you with his strength and goodness. God is going to change you. God is going to mold you. God wants to bring you to the potter's will and prepare you for experiences that have yet to come. Come forward in the name of Jesus. Come forward in the matchless name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we love thee. Come in his time, his endless rhyme. Spring, speak forward in the strength to his goodness and his love. Speak forward to that moment of the capture of Brethren, come forward now. What more do you want out of your own life? What more can you express for into, into this reality? You can sing forward. You can sing forth. You can sing the praises of your own name. You can sing the praises of the utmost high that God has changed you and always wanted you to be. Share with us. Grow with this. Flow with this. Express yourself in the matchless name of Jesus to those around you. Dear Jesus, we love you. We want to take full control of this from you. We want you to be, to make us the kind of person you have always wanted us to be, and to spring forward in the matchless name of Jesus by giving us his tr your truth, his love, the command of the scripture is to honor the Lord with the first fruits of your harvest, the first fruits of the, and the first and the best. We worship the Lord not only with hymns and prayers, but with the giving of the first fruits and with our best of our material income. The faithful promise of scripture is that those who honor the Lord shall be honored by the Lord, and your barns shall be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim with new wine. My brethren, what more can we ask for? We're asking you to come into our, we are in your life, we're inviting you into ours. 
We want you to come and get to know us. We have a relationship growing, which helps us iron sharpen iron. God needs you. The world wants you to bring change. This ministry wants you to come and help us bring change by inviting you to travel with our crusades, by inviting you <clears throat> to come and be an, an, an just pl plant a financial seed into this ministry. Your seed of financial growth will just blossom beyond whatever dreams you've had from a new job, cars, abundance of prosperity, great financial gift, healing those who, that needs will be healed. Help us set up medical clinics in these countries that I that we mentioned again. Kenya, Nigeria, Cape Town, South Africa, Tanzania, Madagascar checked in just recently. We're, we're lifting up in prayer. Australia in 2013, India in t end of 2012, England, France, in parts of Europe again, Canada, of course, and our work continues here in the United States. Let this be your time. We are not we are not practicing unbelievers. We're not practical unbelievers. We are practicing Christians. As Christians, we must be practicing believers by really committing ourselves to Christ and His Word. It is the living Word of God that brings change into our lives. It is the living Word of God that fills our vast with wisdom. It is the living Word of God that gives us the thank yous and and it is the living word of God that acknowledges us that the promises of God are coming to our lives. God works at God's time, not our time. God is going to make and change you into that person you have always wanted to be. So make that change. Embrace the new you. Come forward in the matchless name of Jesus. And this is going to be your beautiful truth. Having spoken about the prosperity of the Lord and the blessings from the Lord, the Godly Father of all the Proverbs urges us not to reject the discipline of the Lord. We desire life to be easy and comfortable. We resist any form of discipline. But as children of God in Christ Jesus, we expect the Heavenly Father to love us enough to administer His discipline in our lives. We have to meet God halfway. We have to meet God halfway and to bring His love into His nutrition and His love in the matchless name of Jesus. In the matchless name of Jesus, we bring this change to you and the growing honor coming before you every day, every hour of this time. Your love shall set us all free. Your love is going to bring it to us this time. Dear Jesus, we love Thee. We lay our hearts before Thee. You're the reason why we live from the secrets of the heart. Lord, we love You. We lay our hearts before You. You, you know the secrets of our hearts. We want to bring into this time. We want to bring into Your love. We want to bring into Your expression. Now today. Be with us, Lord. Watch us, guide us, express us with everything coming to us. Come into this moment and come into this giving us the wisdom of your, of your love forever and ever, Lord. Again, we are living upon the wisdom of God's grace. We're living upon we're giving you his time and sorry for that technical problem dear Jesus we lift up all prayers and supplications to you we are sanctified for the truth that for thy word is truth we give unto you the ornament of truth the blossoming realities of your new love. We, we ask you to take us, love us, we're yours. 
We have moved to Kenya, came back to the United States. The world is in the midst of confusion, but you know how to bring us all into the fold of Christ. We move forward in your steps, O Lord. We move forward to the obedience where you want us to be, as expressed today in, Pro in the Proverbs chapter 3. We shall treat our neighbors as you want us, want us to treat them. We move forward in the matchless name of Jesus. We go forward in the expression of your truth. We go forward in knowing, in knowing that you shall change us, you shall love us, and yes, you shall provide for us. For in that matchless name of Jesus, we come forward to you right now. Brethren, it's time for change. Get yourself into these daily di di prescriptions, I say, of uh, Proverbs, get into a midweek Bible study at, at your local church, come join us on Sunday services um, at your church or here, plant a financial seed at the harvest, and do come and visit us at bryanthewitt.com, bryanthewitt.com, we just launched a new website the other day, and it is blessed by a talented young lady, Apostle Allison, from the Great Lakes region of Michigan. So we're, we've been, God has blessed us with the giftings of patience. We waited a very long time for someone of her talent to come into our life. And we go forward together, you and I, being led by Jesus Christ. We're slow dancing with Jesus with the power of wisdom, blessing us, baptizing us in his name, in the, in the name of Jesus, this beautiful woman called Wisdom brings us God's love, brings us to a depth of our deeper well from that new heart that God has given us. God has removed the stony edges of the old heart, placed the new heart, giving us his time, his endless rhyme of this new day. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the new mercies of, the, of this day. As we lift up our repentance, we lift up our prayers, we sing the Psalms. And we thank you for this new mercies of this morning here as we start our day at the Pacific, Re Pacific Coast region of North America. Our days are coming to an end from, the, from Europe, parts of Europe, Russia, Asia, East Africa. In Western Kenya, but God, the Lord has brought me through a lot. He's going to bring you through a lot. Walk through your stumbling blocks. You have the power to tread in on the heads of snakes, scorpions, and the head of Satan himself. Tread the ground you walk on in the name of Jesus Christ. You have this truth. Go with it. Flow with it. The power of wisdom is yours. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this time. Your endless rhyme that brings us to this magnific magnificence of your truth. Thank you for this day. You are our daily bread as we go forward on the word of your grace, the word of the living word of God, brings us to the straight and narrow where many are called, but few are chosen. And we thank you and lift all in Jesus' name. Amen. This ministry loves you, Anita, and I love you. We walk by faith and not by sight. I thank you for your time, and until next time, au revoir, adios, good day for the people.